from the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Stacia Knight. Weather's looking good this weekend. More outside activities should be planned for tomorrow. Enjoying the weather. It is going to be a bit more breezy, though. We'll have a south wind that gusts 30 to 35 tomorrow. But other than that, the temperatures will be warmer. Today, we topped out at 54 here in Tulsa. Typical for January, our normal daytime high is 48. So we were a little warmer than normal. But that warmer than normal trend, that stays with us for a couple more days. And tomorrow, we'll top out in the 60s. At this hour, temperatures are in the 30s and 40s. We have a few clouds out there, but tonight with the south winds, temperatures may drop down a little bit and then come back up. But overall, we're going to kind of stay in this range where we are right now, 30s and 40s. So when you get up tomorrow morning, headed off to maybe church or brunch, we're still going to be about 44 in Tulsa, 42 in Wilburton. And then if you're north and northeast of the metro, you'll top out or start off the day in the upper 30s. But a good warm up in store for us tomorrow. Those south winds, like I mentioned, are going to be on the stronger side, but temperatures will be climbing into the 60s again. Now, there will be more clouds tomorrow because a storm system is approaching and the moisture is increasing, which is good for fire danger concerns. But still keep in mind that if fires get started, they could spread quickly. So don't do anything that causes a spark tomorrow. 63 will be our high here in Tulsa, 63 also in McAllister. And then tomorrow night, with our first storm system of the week, there's a slight chance for a few passing showers. This is not a highly impactful event for us, but from Highway 75 East, passing showers overnight, leaving long gone by Monday, I'd say by rush hour, 7 a.m., 8 a.m., and better chances even off to east of Highway 69. But you may look outside in the morning and see that the roads are a bit wet, but other than that, it's not going to be an impactful system. For Martin Luther King Jr. Day this year, it's a warm one, and it's a breezy one still. We'll have southwest winds through the day. The parade starts at 11 a.m. here in the metro, and temperatures will actually be in the mid-60s, so that big coat can stay home on Monday. Partly cloudy skies, more clouds in the morning, and then gradually seeing that sun come out as we go through the day. It's going to be a beautiful Martin Luther King Jr. Day this year. Upper 60s around Tulsa, and then several locations could get into the 70s south of the metro. The metro will come close. I would not be surprised to even see one or two spots in Tulsa getting up to 70. But mid 60s north and northeast still a good day. Now as we head into the rest of the week, well, we're talking temperatures still warmer than normal on Tuesday, but dropping down into the 50s and 60s with a north wind and our chance for rain starts to increase on Wednesday. Stronger storm system, better moisture to work with. Wednesday morning, we'll start to see the onset of those showers could even be a little earlier, maybe even Tuesday night and then more widespread rain pushes through the area, maybe an embedded thunderstorm into the early afternoon hours of our Wednesday. There's two windows of rain on Wednesday. The first one is more widespread and that's morning into early afternoon. And then the second one is going to be a few passing showers late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. After that, temperatures starting to trend cooler for us and back to more January-like. So enjoy the warmer days. That's your nine day planner. News on six will be right back.